niggas want me to attack it Put the hood on, let it call me cash it Mind you like Bob Saget Greedy, I can't pass it Eating everything, nigga, no fast I don't care Is you ready? Is you ready, baby? Go ahead Hi guys, today is Sunday and I'm about to start packing everything in my bedroom. So I'm excited and I'm not excited because this is a lot of work for me to do. I'm packing things from my closet to my perfumes, everything over here to my bed frame to my work desk. Everything in my bedroom is moving out because they're going to come in tomorrow and break these two walls. The walls over here. I don't know if you can see. They're gonna break these two walls and it's gonna be very dusty in here and I don't want dust on my things so I have to take everything out so they work freely and I don't give myself too much work after this so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna start packing everything looking at everything right now I'm crippled because how am I supposed to pack everything today and then have them in here tomorrow but luckily my brother is around so I'll call him to come in and help me I even got them water to drink while they work um bags of sachet water because the tap is not flowing anyway so if they're going to need water then they're going to have to use that in the meantime till i find someone to come and fill my poly tank that's a whole different tangent but i'll set you guys up and let you guys watch me i'll go call my brother right now and then we're going to start packing everything i need to pull out this <laughs> i need to pull out the dresser and then take off these paintings take everything off because they're going to paint the room as well <laughs> i'm already exhausted just looking at this but yeah i got my hair done the other day i haven't really shown you guys because i still don't know how i feel about it it's cute i like it but i don't know i feel like it hasn't really <laughs> my face hasn't gotten used to it so my eyes if I'm being honest i haven't gotten used to seeing this hairstyle on me but i like it it's kind of cute so let me drop you guys and start working Hi guys, good morning. It's the next day. Um, yesterday I managed to take everything out. I emptied the closet. I took everything off the shelves. I took the curtains out, my table, everything except the bed and the things under it. And also the mirror because I want to pack everything before I move the mirror out of here. So I don't break it. Um, this is what this space is looking like. Let me turn you guys around. The whole space is full. The dresser, everything is in here. I'm waiting for the guy to come in. I haven't heard from him this morning. And it's only 7.49, so it's fair that I haven't heard from him. But by 9 o'clock, if I haven't heard from him, I'm going to call him and see where he's at or if he's even coming today. Um, I actually wanted to hear from him before I take out the bed. But I don't know, because I don't want to start sleeping in the sofa. This is where I was supposed to sleep last night. But I didn't sleep here because, I don't know. I didn't want to take out the bed and be uncomfortable in bed. So, this has to go this morning. There are things under the bed that I have to take out as well. So, I'm going to do that and call him once I'm done. And take the mirror out as well. Hey!
Yeah, because of the other things, you find it difficult. Well, I'm just saying. Okay. What a perfect time to. Hi guys, little update. Um, tomorrow marks two weeks since we started this whole process, and I kid you not, I've had several mental breakdowns, several teary moments, several angry moments. Like I've been through all the motions at this point. Like I've experienced every kind of emotion at this point. But let me take you guys through everything that we've done so far because I think I've only updated you guys two or three days out of the whole two weeks that we've been working. Tomorrow marks two weeks, like I said. Um, so let's start from the closets because that was where everything started. So um, as you can see, we broke the two walls that I told you guys about. And after we broke the walls, we realized the walls on this side and that side were not even. So we had to chisel everything and re-plaster the whole wall. Not the whole inside, just the left and right sides of the wall. Um, that's where we had an issue. The guys who were supposed to plaster put a dent in the whole schedule. They didn't come for a whole week and that's why we are two weeks into the whole process right now. But they've done that and as you guys can see, the painters came in and then they did their painting job. I ended up changing the color of the whole space. We went with white and we did washable paint so maintenance would be easier for me. Um, the guys finished and then they were kind enough to help me scrape all the paint off the ground. As you guys can see, there's little to no paint stains on the floor, which I really appreciate. Um, they finished today actually, just this morning. Um, the only downside is they stained my sofa. So this is what my sofa is looking like. They even left sachet water here, but um, this is what my sofa is looking like. To be honest, I feel like getting a new sofa. I've been thinking about it for a while, but in the meantime, this whole project has put a dent in my pocket. So I don't think I can do that right now. Um, but what am I doing right now? I'm going to mop the whole space, clean up and start bringing my things inside. Let me drop this water. I'm gonna start bringing my things inside. During the course of this process, I ended up bringing all my things outside because everything was getting dirty not just that we needed to paint in here so i had to move them out anyways but everything got dirty basically my mattress is filthy right now so i, I need to i need to reach out to a couple people i have on my contact list to see who can come in and clean my mattress and my sofa do a good job basically um but yeah i'm gonna clean the whole space and start bringing in everything that I can bring in right now. Anything that's not going to be affected by the closet, the work that's going to go on in the closet from now onwards. Because we fixed the wall and everything, but we still need to install the closet. This is the main reason why we started this whole project in the first place. A lot has gone wrong with this as well, but I'm not pissed about it. It's just a lot of miscommunication. Um, things that we're trying to iron out but yeah so far I think I'm satisfied with where we've gotten there's a little issue with the wardrobe that we're making which I hope we are able to rectify soon but um, I need to start cleaning right now and start moving in <laughs>
right now i don't even know where to start from but i'm heading to Accra right now i went to pick up my laundry and some other things which are in the back as you can see um and i have to drive all the way to Accra just to look at the wardrobe that the guy is making for me like we've been i'm 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 not in the right state of mind to even be driving right now because i'm so pissed like it's a whole lot and i've been holding back from talking about it in the vlog because i've been trying to like put some positive energy on it and just take my time and see if things turn out the right way but i look crazy like i'm just running normal errands like a normal day doing my normal stuff and now i have to drive all the way to Accra just to go look at the wardrobe the guy is doing things that is I want to cry. I'm literally going to cry right now. I'm literally going to cry right now. But the wardrobe is, is getting fucked up. Like, the whole thing is getting fucked up. I'll take you guys along and show you. And hopefully you get the gist of it as we move along. But basically, certain things, certain measurements are fucked up. And it's making the whole thing not look like what I originally wanted. The design is there, but the execution. You guys, I'm literally crying because I've scratched my car. Like, it's so bad. Like, just to come and look at the wardrobe that I'm paying premium money for like 7,000 cities for one wardrobe. And I'm having all these headaches and like I'm just tired like hi guys editing flurry here um before i get into explaining anything or talk about what i want to talk about right now i just want to say this whole process took so much out of me i almost didn't post this video but i've learned so much and i know how to handle matters like this and issues like this going forward um to what i wanted to clarify so my car getting scratched first of all I didn't intentionally or carelessly scratch my car, just that where I was going to was very tight. I had to go, I don't know if you guys know where Timber Market is, but literally like there are big cars parked, like double parking, and you literally have to go through them like this. So I ended up scratching the side of my car on some car that was parked, some dead car that was parked, and... That was why I was like, that was why I was down. Like, I was already down before I got there. And that even made it worse. And that made me cry. Moving on to the 7,000 cities. That is not what I paid for everything that was done in here. I paid separately for the painting. I bought the paint myself. I paid for breaking the wall. Every At, at this point, I had given the guy about 12,000 cities. At this point where i was crying um in the seven thousand cities i'm not exactly seven thousand cities let me explain as of when i felt like i didn't want the wardrobe anymore and i was going back and forth with the guy he was like we have spent about seven thousand five hundred cities on this wardrobe and i was like i could have easily walked into a showroom topped up that money and bought something that i wanted like something that had better finishing i'm not saying this woodwork is 
what am i saying i'm not trying to i'm still trying to protect the guy's image not necessarily but the woodwork he did was not up to the standard that he assured me he was going to give me like we went through stuff like we were on pinterest back and forth he was sending me inspos i was sending him inspos <sighs> the sizing i almost didn't post this video again because i didn't want to sit down and explain so much and give you guys too much insight but yeah so seven thousand five hundred cities for just the woodwork that the guy did he did a fairly good job but if i wanted this i wouldn't have had such high hopes for this whole project if you get what i mean i probably would have added all of this to like other vlogs or subsequent vlogs at that time but yeah that's what went down even the Very 